Hello friends, in today's video we are going to talk about why you need to be a walking contradiction and how this is actually one of the keys to being very very successful. I'm going to share with you the two biggest takeaways I've learned from implementing this. But this principle comes down to marrying things that are inside of yourself, the dark and the light and understanding that we need both of these things in order to be a fully functioning, fully round human who is capable of doing some really awesome things. Becoming a walking contradiction. Now, I got this tattoo um, of Katana after reading a book called The Life-Giving Sword. Now, the main premise of the book is as follows. You can't actually save a life unless you can do the opposite. So here's the idea. If you are faced with a situation and in that situation you can't make the choice to be violent, to take a life or to save a life, then you're not actually making a choice. You're just doing the only thing you can do. So it's this idea that we need to harness both of these sides of us. So can you actually be peaceful if you can't actually be violent? You're not actually making a choice. You're just doing the only thing you can do. And that's not a choice, that's not actual strength. Which is why so the fighting is something I'm focusing on at the moment, harnessing the dark side, so that when I do make those decisions to be kind, it is actually a decision. Now, here's another one we always tell ourselves. Lots of people will say that they're either extroverted or introverted. Now, this is a really dangerous thing to do because you label yourself along with those ideas and along with all of the weight that those labels carry. So you say, oh, I can't do that because I'm an introvert. I find this challenging because I'm an introvert. You haven't actually tried or challenged yourself. You're just associating with what you think represents that label, the behaviors you think represents that label. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is that we're both. We're always going to need to be sometimes extroverted. Me, now, I'm going to need to show up for the camera, but then there's going to be times of quiet reflection reading where I'm being introverted. But you have to understand that both are necessary. You have to harness both. Now, here's one that's served me really, really well. And if you are starting an online business, this is something that you might go through too. And this, I hope, helps you. When you are starting online and you're putting yourself out there, you are going to get this feeling of imposter syndrome. Am I an expert? Can I actually do this? And at the same time, there's going to be thousands of people who you're way ahead of, who you can really, really deeply help. But also there's gonna be thousands of people ahead of you. So this is an interesting one to navigate because a lot of people, they feel this imposter syndrome and they just stop. And then they stop when they could have really offered and helped so many people. You have to be the contradiction in this area. This is what I found works really, really well for me. I'm my biggest critic, I'm my biggest self-critic, but also I'm a, my biggest supporter. So I'm my biggest self-critic, but I'm also my biggest supporter, okay? And there's periods, even in the same moment, where I'm doing both. And for me, this is it's a contradiction, but this is how you move forward. Because you're being so critical of yourself, you are making sure that your product and everything you're doing, your content, etc., is the best it can be. But because you're your biggest supporter, you're also encouraging yourself to keep going, to ste keep stepping forward. Okay, so you get both. You get the refinement over time and you also get the momentum. I think this is a really, really powerful way to approach things and it's a contradiction. It doesn't make sense. It's a contradiction, but you have to be okay with that. The final one that's really, really helped me this year is understanding that you need to take things completely serious, like every moment is the most serious. You need to treat it with absolute respect, care and give it everything, but also, it doesn't really matter at all. Everything's fine. It doesn't really matter. Now, those seem like two contradictory beliefs. One, a really anal person, and then uh, the other one, maybe more of a hippie who just goes with the flow. You need to be both. You need to have both and harness both. So there's this great saying, which is, if I can, I must, but if I don't, it doesn't matter. If I can, I must. If I can do something, I must do it. But if I don't, it doesn't matter. And I find that it's really, really helpful to approach situations with this contradiction, with I'm gonna give this absolutely in everything and treat it like it is the most important moment of my life, but also it doesn't really matter, everything's gonna be okay, I'm just a speck in the universe. And it's, again, it's a contradiction. It doesn't make sense, but that's why it works, okay? So I want you to explore these contradictions in your own life. Um, and maybe harness a couple of the ones we've spoken about here today. Think about how you can implement them for yourself. And even though it's a contradiction, I promise, I promise you, if you start 
thinking about these things and understanding both, asking both, right? It, the answer usually isn't one or the other. The answer is usually both. When you're next faced with a challenge or a decision, see if you can answer it with both and see what happens when you do that. But I appreciate you. I will catch up with you in the next video.